in the name of my ancestors peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the realities temple on earth internet ministry I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media wherever you may find me I am known as the mighty 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 mm. Angel Snub Nub 7, I am your soul brother, number one. There's a group of folks, a class of folks, within the black American, African American, soul community, however you want to uh, identify, we really don't know and we as a people have not decided to choose an identity so we are really identity confused but legally and as far as the world is concerned no matter what you do in your house legally in this world in this society African American or Black American, so that's what we're gonna use. All this other stuff don't mean nothing in real life. You can do anything and call yourself anything that you want to, but when you go to the hospital, if you get booked by police, if you go overseas and you need a passport, we all know how we are going to be identified. All this other stuff is foolishness. They're not gonna call you a Black Muslim. They're not gonna call you a Hebrew Israelite or a Pan African. And they're not going to call you a Christian. They're not going to call you all these labels that we identify ourselves with. Not going to do it. Foolishness. Silliness. But this comes from this certain group or class of people who are, who are identity confused and self-righteous and grandiose. Because they will call you and me, oh, you don't have conscience. You're not awake. You love the white man. You live in the white man's world. You love European culture. You don't know how to eat. You don't know how to pray. You don't know how to do nothing. So we need them. This black, they call themselves black first. Uh, they call themselves Pan-African. They call themselves Hebrew. They call themselves Muslim. They call themselves uh, countless. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Moor. Uh, uh, they, they, again, identity confused. They don't know who the hell they are. But they're going to tell you and me. We don't have knowledge of self. But yet and still. They clearly. They don't know. Or have knowledge of self. Because they identify all kinds of numerous ways. Some of these things are very new. But they all will agree that we need to be taught. You need to submit to the life-giving teachings of Nova Jewelry. You need to submit to the life-giving teachings of Jesus Christ, maybe. You uh, or some new prophet, some new guy, uh King Noble Black Supremacy or uh, uh, the Honorable Elisha Muhammad. Uh, it goes on and on. Anyway, from their perspective, you're just a bunch of dumb herd animals still on the slave plantation with the white man. You don't know nothing. And one of the things that they will always put in your face and they paint themselves as revolutionaries, liberators, even though black first, black power, pan, all this stuff been around for almost a hundred years. They have not liberated themselves. They have not caused a revolution. They have not, they have not done nothing except run their big ass mouth. And one of the things that they would tell you and me is fight the power. 
Public Enemy had a bestseller. The rap group Chuck D and Flavor Flav. They had a bestseller. Fight the power. Fight the powers that be. Da -da -da. Fight the power. Fight the powers that be. In this modern era, we're not going to talk about the 1950s. We're not going to talk about the 1960s. We're going to talk about now. But that's what they would do. They would tell you about what happened back then. They're not going to tell you about what they're doing to fight the power. Fight the powers that be. Just recently, this YouTuber that y'all get, some of them gave a lot of money, a lot of time to this YouTuber, what's his name? Uh, Brother Polite. Sitting in jail. Pled guilty. Basically, I'm a, I'm a pedophile. I raped a young 14-year-old girl. I'm a pedophile. That's what he, he pled guilty to that. And he's sitting in jail. Not because he fought the power. He also had a criminal record. A lot of these people in the conscious community, a lot of them are ex-cons. They're felons. A lot of them are. None of it, none of it is for fighting the power. Nor do they support the ones who actually done. There are brothers and sisters in America and outside of America who actually did fight the power. They don't mention their names. They don't help them at all. They don't talk about them. Who actually fought the power. How are you going to fight the power making a YouTube video? How are you going to fight the power and the only thing you do is talk behind a podium and a roster? Dr. Martin Luther King fought the power. He met with them folks face to face, man to man. These people fight the power. They never fought the power. Malcolm X, you know we have a lot of respect for Malcolm X here on this platform. Malcolm X never fought the power. Malcolm X talked a lot of big stuff. And then when they put him, uh, what they, what you, they put him on Front Street. We don't, we don't turn the other cheek here. And then when they killed Muslims, they got punked out. Even the Quran says, do you think that you're going to believe and not be tried? You're going to get tried. And Malcolm, unfortunately, looked stupid because his teacher was so wise. Let We put this in Allah's hand. But a, but a few years later, they did not put nothing in Allah's hand. They put guns in their hand and shot Malcolm unarmed, broad daylight. That's what they did. Fight the power. These folks go to jail. It ain't for fighting the power. It's for foolishness. Now, when I was a former member of the Nation of Islam under Louis Farrakhan, I was expecting to maybe one day end up in jail. But I messed around and got incarcerated and it wasn't for fighting the powers for, for foolishness because being a, a, a dumbass. It wasn't for fighting the power. So, 50 some years after the Civil Rights era, all these suckers fight the power. None of them have fought the power. They want you they want you to go out and fight the power. They want you to take a bullet. Let me tell you something about fighting the power. I was dumb. I got incarcerated. It was not for fighting the power. But I did have to fight the power. Because that power wanted to hold me the rest of my life unjustly. And they could legally, they could legally murder me and get away with it. I know this. But see, this is the thing about Fighting the power. And this is the reason why you don't see them 
fighting the power. It's because fighting the power means consequence. Fighting the power means you might have to go to jail. Fighting the power might, means they might burn your house down. Fighting the power means they would discriminate and harass you. They might hurt your family. Fighting the power. Your house will be firebombed. Dr. Martin Luther King suffered all these things. And the ultimate, like Medgar Evers, you will get shot dead in your driveway. Fighting the power. Everybody can't fight the power. Because fighting the power, there's a consequence. There's a war going on right now between an organization called Hamas and the state of Israel. Fighting the power, there's a consequence. You don't want to, you not ready for that kind of action. You want to do a lot of talking. But now, being a coward, and let's say let's use Hamas as an example. What if Hamas somehow they don't have to actually win, but they get they win enough to get the real respect and get some benefits out of fighting the power? Then all these suckers that didn't fight, that didn't stand up. They're going to benefit. See, I, I don't do that here. Dr. King and all these folks did all this fighting the power so y'all can look like freaks on the street so you can be a drug addict so you can be in a gang you can be an alcoholic look like a freak. I'm not going to do that. But this is what fighting the power. Now, when I was locked up I done, I done certain things fighting for myself, but those who didn't fight, they benefit because of my fight. I damn sure wouldn't fight for them. Well, I take that back because some of these people actually stood up with me to fight the power. I have to give credit where credit is due. They did. But fighting the power, there's consequence. And you can raise your fist all you want to and you can talk about hotel and you can holler and scream all this fantastic stuff that y'all like to do. But when it comes down to it, you ain't ready to fight the power. The only thing you want to do is sing a song. Brother James Brown said, I'm black and I'm proud. And when it's all said and done, he married a white woman. I'm black and I'm proud. What happened to all that, sir? Because that's not the world. That's not the reality of, of the world. This is a famous, rich black man, and he had Caucasian people always surrounded, and one of them got to him. Because they know how to smile and skin and grin in your face. And plus you think having somebody other than a black woman on your arms or a black man or a soul brother on your arm, you think that devalues you. That's not, that's not real value. And all this happens because we have not fought the power. Fighting the power takes a lot of heart. And you don't have it. So all this big shot huffing and puffing that I see on YouTube and people talking all this crap, it don't mean nothing to me because actions speak louder than words and your actions show you are a coward. You know we're going to do nothing. Not going to fight no power or nothing. You're going to go to Disneyland and get you a beer or something. Sit your ass down. 